The future of Modbury Hospital is again under a cloud, with 22 surgeons' contracts shortened or not renewed. Senior doctors say the emergency department won't be able to treat acute cases without them and fear it's another nail in the hospital's coffin. The future of Modbury Hospital still undiagnosed. So the government does need to come clean as to what services will be provided at the Modbury Hospital. Senior doctors at the Northeastern Hospital fear it's facing a death by a thousand cuts. The latest slash, the three-year contracts of 22 visiting medical specialists. Some only renewed for 12 months, others not at all. It's very distressing for the staff uh, once you're being focused on whether you'll actually have uh, ongoing employment. Without those surgeons, the union says the Modbury Emergency Department couldn't treat acute patients and would become a low-level community ED like that slated for no longer. Its downgrade had already been revealed in the government's health reforms, but the union says plans to convert part of the hospital into a dedicated eye surgery centre will require all of its four operating theatres. Therefore, uh, any general surgery or other surgery will need to be performed at the Lyle McEwen Hospital or elsewhere. The downgrading of the emergency department follows the recent relocation of obstetric and paediatric services, prompting fears the entire hospital could close through attrition. Modbury is going to experience the death of a thousand cuts that the repad has already been through. Fears once again denied by the health department. It's clear that the government's made a commitment to the emergency department uh, as it has to the hospital and that will, that will be honoured. Alice Monfries, Nine News.